Hello, my name is Erica Blinky, and this is my virtual classroom using course sites. Um, here we're at our pre first class website. This is essentially the home page, and it's just introducing you to our course site and explaining that this is going to become a reference throughout the year. And uh, you can find lessons, assignments, and resources all on here. And it explains that using the left hand side of the tab is a great place to locate items. Also, it asks that you please note that the Cyber Cafe located on the discussion board tab is available to chat and communicate with your classmates about questions or concerns during any time throughout the course. And that is all student led there. Next, we can hit the Get Started page. Again, it's just kind of confirming the same thing of what it's all about. Next, you can find out some teacher staff information. And it just gives you a little explanation of who I am and what I do. And there's also a way to reach me there via email. Um, next, I have under here the core content. So I decided to do Unit 1, Concept 1, and we're focusing on math. Here is LEQ 1.1, and I organize them by their LEQs. So we'll click on LEQ 1.1. Here there is a learning module that follows a progression of steps, and you cannot advance until you do everything here. So this item, there is a pre-assessment located here. I'm just going to continue on ahead. This is just explaining what students will know, be able to, and items that are due. Here you can see we start activities by listening to a simple story of 10 apples on top since we are really focusing on counting as a concept. They're going to learn how to play um, collect 20 or collect 50 watching my screen cast. And the assignment of them is to submit one of their scores that they got on IXL while practicing. And moving further on to last but not least, you're going to complete a discussion board. And that just has a question that it's asking. Um, so we'll back out to here. Here you can see the IXL submission area and a link to the discussion board. So I'm going to go ahead and back back out here and go into LEQ 1.2. This one's organized a little bit differently. We're going to watch an activator on Brain Pop about counting and what it means to count on. Here is my instructional screencast, which you can easily just download the file with that link. There is a link here for a file of a number line. It's um, a Word document. And here are directions on how to play. Start with get to. You're going to be using this number line as almost an exit ticket. You're going to show your work. Um, the individual will take a picture of it and upload it to the submission here. There's also a discussion board to go along with this lesson as well. Last but not least, I have LEQ 1.3, which wraps up the concept. And a typical concept would last about a week in pre-first. And it starts out here just as an activator, and it asks that you please post your response in the discussion board. And below is the discussion board here linked. Next is to watch another instructional screencast on how to compare numbers. And you're going to learn how to play another game in here called Compare Dots. And compare numbers, it's two different versions. Last but not least, here is a group collaborative assignment. Their job is to work together in a team of at least two or three members, and you're going to, well, they will uh, come up with a way, a new game to practice counting or comparing. They're in charge of creating a materials page and a direction page, and each child is responsible for uploading their part of the assignment. And the last thing that should be completed in this unit is the post-assessment to assess everything that you have learned within this concept. If we move back over to the left-hand side, we can check out the discussion forum. Again, here is the spot for the Cyber Cafe. Getting to know you part, so this is an option. Um, when we first saw on the title page, go here and answer some questions about yourself. And here are some discussions for the LEQs. Over in the library, there are certain resources such as a link to Common Core Standards, First Grade Math for Parents, Scholastic for Parents, and Pinterest.com as ways to practice with your child at home. I designed the library as sort of a, a library for adults to help their children out since they are first graders. 
Certain resources that the children might use are is IXL.com. IXL is a great way, a great self-assessment in seeing what you know and practicing your content. ABC is also another way to self-assess, and here's just a link to the number line PDF. Some link here under the general information area, you will find the syllabus for the course, policy for discussion boards, and certain school policies. Of course, if there are any other questions, they can contact me at my teacher staff information. Again, my name is Erica Blinky, and this concludes my screencast of my virtual classroom.